Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and I'm here in Austin, Texas at the running event with Paul from ASICS. And we have uh, two shoes. They're the same ASICS Nimbus 25 or Gel Nimbus uh, 26, sorry, actually. See the confusion. Paul, oh, what's new on the Nimbus 26? Yeah, so Nimbus 25 was a pretty radical change from previous. You know, we used to have those giant exposed gel pads, a, a, a very like rocket ship looking shoe. 25 modernized a little bit. We took the gel internal, we raised that stack. Uh, we found a shoe that consumers really voted for confidently. Um, it was an evolution in the best sense. So with 26, this is really kind of a refinement of that 25. Uh, we know that that plush underfoot was really something that excited the, the runners that put it on. But we did think there were a couple points where we could update to improve. So the first, you're going to see this new engineered mesh upper. So it's a little bit more breathable than what we were on 25. I, I think that was one of the comments we got that on a longer run or on a hotter day, that foot warm up a little bit. So we're going to be a little bit more ventilated. Uh, in addition, you know, it should wrap the foot just a, a little bit cleaner than we were previous. Underfoot, um, you're going to see this new... Um, hybrid ASICS grip. So we're going to take a ASICS grip rubber that's been used on the trail shoes of the past. We're going to integrate that as part of the outsole. So we're going to get a little bit more traction. But then underfoot, we still have that uh, Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco. So nice plus cushion with a sustainability story. We've got that interior rear foot gel. So that's still going to sit there. Uh, we're going to sit at the same stacks and offset as previous. But really just looking to take a, a really good shoe and make it great in that new upper and then that outsole story. Awesome. Yeah, sounds like a winner, especially the, the upper change. For me personally, will be a, a good thing. Um, can you maybe tell us a bit more about the sustainability story with this, with this shoe? I know now in your boxes, you even have like the um, amount of uh, CO2 uh, per shoe. What's the number here? And is it better or worse than other uh, ASIC shoes? I think we had that already on the Nova Blast 4 and on the okay. Kiano 30. Yeah. Um, so what's, what's the, the story here on the sustainability aspect? So it shares the same foam. Uh, the percentage is a, a little bit greater than 20% of bio content is going to be used in this. So you know, sustainability has always been a really big part of the ASICS foundational philosophy. Uh, and so, you know, you'll see it with the packaging, with a couple projects that we have forthcoming in the future, you know, and with this, you know, it'll come, you'll notice no paper in the shoe. It'll come in that recycled box. We've got that, you know, bio midsole that's going to play into it. So, you know, trying to do our part of just being a little bit better um, than we were before on the sustainability aspects. And Paul, this sounds to be, this seems to be a, an even better shoe than the Nimbus 25. Is the price point going up uh, because of the changes you implemented? No, we're planning on keeping this at the, the same price area. Uh, we're going to introduce it in early January. You know, our goal is to take a, a really, really good shoe and make it an even more beloved shoe. So trying not to uh, mess with a good thing and, and radically change, just take those refinements and, and really uh, take it to the next level. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time and for explaining everything about the JL Nimbus 26. Uh, we look forward to testing it on the channel, reviewing it, and uh, hopefully also comparing uh, against the Nimbus 25. Thank you so much, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you.